Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will explain how to remove and replace rear seat belt on BMW 3 Series guys, generation F30, F31, F34. As you know guys, this is BMW 3 Series from year 2012 to year 2019. But before we start guys, let me tell you how I can even save you, we can save you five to ten thousand dollars on future car repairs if you have one of those BMWs. A little bit about us. All the tools and parts that we use we try to share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience so please check it out something else guys every single car we get at the shop we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos but specifically on this generation bmw we're planning on having more than 500 videos guys you heard it right 500 videos why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please please subscribe to the channel and like the video so let me show you what we have here this is a 328 BMW, but doesn't matter which BMW you have, which engine, the procedure for the rear seat belt removal is exactly the same. Something else, else that I want to tell you guys, if you have a 320, 328 with the N20 engine, some of them are affected by bad timing chain components from what I hear, and we just did a timing chain replacement on one that failed at 87,000 miles, okay, right here. So if that happens, you may end up needing new engine or cylinder head. And that could be five to ten thousand dollars if you go guys and get it done but if you see if uh, we have a video that explains if your vehicle is affected by that problem and we have a complete timing chain replacement video that's very detailed almost two hours video guys well uh, we have it on the channel check it out i'll put the link in the description of the video below and that way you can save yourself guys five to ten thousand dollars in the long run uh, so let's go ahead start on the belt removal now uh, in addition if you have that generation bmw check this channel out electrical car repair life we'll be posting all the electrical videos fixing engine lights diagnostics uh, airbag lights things like that on this channel for this bmw so let's start on the belt replacement now so we'll demonstrate guys okay how to remove the uh, right cpu or okay right here so uh, let me show you guys okay what it looks like if when you have the window you won't be able to see all that but a few things that you need to consider guys you actually have three clips and one that slides in now without a window i can show you all that and how it works otherwise you'll be doing everything from the inside guys everything from the inside but you will guys have one clip here one clip there so uh, <laughs> We get here, okay, with a plastic panel too. And if you can do that, okay, uh, I, since we don't have the window, it's a little bit easier for me, okay, to actually bring it out. But with the window, you will have a little bit more trouble. But you know, what do you do when you have the window? You're going to start on this side right here. Okay, and here there is another clip, guys. So we're going to leave the seal, go underneath, Okay, you have your side airbag here. So you have to be extremely careful. Okay, because, okay, check it out. This is your side airbag. So careful not to punch anything, not to break anything because guys, okay, that could be catastrophic. So when you get those clips out, okay, one of them got back in. Okay, you're going to grab that piece and, okay, let me come on the other side so I can show you. And you're going to grab it guys and you're going to slide it forward. Okay, it's stuck under the seal, I think. We have one clip there guys. Okay, let me see what is happening because I think this clip you slide it out. Okay, this clip, when you grab it, it slides out, but it got in here. Okay, check it out now. That's what we're doing. You cannot remove the last clip. Okay, that last clip, that's actually the one that you remove first, guys. This is the one, okay, that goes in this canal. Okay, let me get close, and it slides out, guys. Okay, it's usually stuck right here, so when you pop it loose to some degree, okay, and you remove these two clips, the one here and the one over there, you're going to go ahead and slide it out until it comes to right here. Okay, you can see what the clip looks like. And then the last clip will come out of there, which is the one located all the way here. So that's how you guys remove the CPU on that BMW. 
The other side is exactly the same guys, just like this one. So we will go ahead and show you on this side too if you want to see that. So we are going to start with the first clip there. Imagine that we have the window in. Perfect, it came out, then you grab it with your fingers. Okay, and you're going to pry, okay, you're going to come between the two pieces here, pry a little bit, and then slide it forward. Okay, it's stuck, you cannot pull if the, it's stuck here, you have to always pull it out, otherwise it doesn't work, guys. And the other CPU is out of here as well, you can see it doesn't take much. So, next step, guys, we'll need to remove these side covers, okay, let me show you how to do that. Okay, you grab it guys, okay, and this thing practically it has two clips, okay, holding here, so uh, you need to kind of like, okay, let me see if I can grab it like that, or I need to go ahead and, okay, perfect, and then pull up, okay, let me explain now, you have two clips, one here, one there, one on top guys, so the one on there, it goes down here, so we grab the same thing on the other side, okay, and we do exactly the same, procedure guys to the other one okay pull it out now I'm going to get those out why because we will have to guys okay we will have to now put the seeds down and we'll explain why so let me actually collect everything out of here okay perfect and now we're going to open the trunk we'll show you guys okay what else we need to do here we need to open now okay the seeds so we can tear them down. Okay, both of them down, just like that. Right here now it seems like we don't have anything else holding. We're going to verify that though. We'll go inside the car now. Okay, and let me show you. Okay, we pre-loosened some of the clips, but I'll explain guys what you need to do from that point on. So, as you can see, we have the CPUs removed here. So that makes a big difference because otherwise you won't be able to pull it out. So first you need to pull the CPUs. Again, be careful because your side airbags are right here, guys. Okay, and those things can kill you. So you have to be extremely careful. So a few clips that we need to remove, pull the center piece out, then grab the whole clip, guys. Okay, and pull it out. We're going to do that, okay, to, I think, six clips. Okay, this is the second one. Okay, you can see three. We have one in the corner there. This is the fourth one. Okay, perfect. Now we have five and the sixth one here. So all together we have six clips. Okay, that we need to take care of. Clip removal tool makes things super easy guys, if you need to buy any of the tools, check out the link in the description of the video below, you can get them for a really, really good price. Perfect, okay, this one's out. Now, a few things guys that we need to, okay, we need to explain. Make sure that your seat belt is not, okay, not attached there, everything's good. Now, how I'm going to close right here now guys, I'm going to close that. Trunk. And since we don't have the window, I can show you how things are happening. You're going to have three of these clips, guys. And on this shelf panel, two of them are broken. We'll explain where. You have one clip here, one clip in the center, one clip over there. So now, guys, all we have to do, okay, just grab that shelf panel, slide it forward. Okay, you might hit the door seals there. A little bit go ahead get them out okay and slide it out now the clips that i was talking about guys okay let me show you like this one here okay you can see this one is unglued guys it's supposed to be right here we already have one there and one of them fell out okay right here so we have actually only three clips that we need to take care of okay with all that being said you can just go ahead and remove this shelf panel out of the car now if you guys need to get the seat belt out, uh, this is pretty easy, just uh, get the trim out there, the little bit is surrounding. Okay, you can see down there and you can uh, you can get the seat belt out of the uh, sh uh, that uh, shelf panel as well guys. So we'll show you guys how to disconnect the seat belts now. Okay, right here we have on the sides one screw on each of them guys.
Okay, let's see if we have anything else holding on the back side. We have a couple clips, okay, like this one. So all we have to do just grab it and pull it out. Now let me, okay, let me do the one right here on this side. And we'll show you how to do the middle one as well. Okay, you can see how we're removing the screws now. Perfect. Now grab it, pull it, okay, check it out. It comes like that and then it comes out. Okay, and now we have the only thing is that belt right here, but okay, let me explain how to do that. That trim piece, okay, check it out. It comes out like that, you push it out and now we need to feed it to come out of there. Okay, and that shelf panel is completely out of the car. Okay, let me show you just like that guys. So you can see what I'm talking about. So now with all that guys being out of the way, we have the three seat belts now, as you can see, left, center, right. Now, doesn't matter guys. Okay, this one is ready to come out. This one is super easy. Okay, all we have to do, remove guys. Okay, right here, you can see you have one bolt, one nut. Okay, remove that one and center one is out. So that is super easy. But what about guys those? Okay, this we don't even need to worry. You can figure it out guys. Those, okay, we're going to demonstrate on the right side. You have one bolt, okay, that we need to remove with a Torx. Okay, this is a Torx uh, 50. Start looking big guys. You can check out the link in the description of the video below. So we'll go ahead and get this one loose now. Okay, you can see it's coming out guys, perfect. Now we can grab the belt, okay, and pull it out. You come this way, but how we get it out from under the seat, we need to remove guys the bottom seat of the car now in order to get to it. So grab it, lift up, okay, and we'll probably need to remove the whole seat. Otherwise it's not gonna work out. So let me see now, I'll pull on this side okay let's push it back in because otherwise it's not gonna work okay perfect yes couple of clips guys and your seat belts will fall out so later you need to feed those but it's okay and now we just have one bolt there that you need to remove sometimes the bolts for the seat belts they will have thread lockers so you have to install some otherwise guys okay you're risking them getting loose when you drive down the road and you don't want your seat belt belts to be loose because that could be guys catastrophic so go ahead get this one and the seat belt is out of the car guys okay you can see just like that so that's how we remove the right one left one is exactly the same the middle one all you have is one now so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to your channel for more videos and see you guys next time